Are you flirting with him? Oh my god, bro. So now he's asking if she's flirting with him. Okay, this is like the Hail Mary pass. He's clearly out of things to say. He's like, hey, you flirting with me? He probably heard this again watching one of these PUA guys. Oh, if she gives you resistance or if she's not complying with your verbals, ask if she's flirting with you to turn it around or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. And today, we have an absolute doozy of a video. One of our viewers sent this to me, and I'm really glad you did, man, because this is some of the purest comedy you're ever going to see. As far as I know, this is not scripted. It seems too good to be scripted. Like, it's simply just too organically funny to be scripted. We're going to see in this video what happens whenever a human Reddit mod, I would guess that's some component of this guy's life, what happens whenever these dudes approach women in public. Alright, so I don't really like to use the term cringe a whole lot, guys. I think it's very overused. I do say cope a lot, but this video does have to be labeled with a cringe warning. This guy just digs himself a deeper and deeper hole in this interaction. It's not even a very long video. It's off this woman's TikTok account. But just a warning for you, this gets pretty bad. But we can learn from it. Now for reference here, guys, I have a video of my own called How Not to Meet Girls at the Gym. Because there's so many goofy influencer type videos. Oh, how to meet girls at the gym and they're clearly fake and staged and all this stuff. By the way, most of these PUA guys you dudes on here watch... Their infields are also staged or heavily edited with paid models, etc. So don't just believe everything you see on the internet. Oh, I picked up this dime piece at the gym. Most of these PUA guys you see are usually in long-term relationships with mid-women. Mid! Just telling you. So once again, guys, I don't claim to be some master in this area, but I've definitely met women at the gym. I've field tested a number of these things myself. And let's be transparent, most guys will never talk to the woman they want to or any of the women they want to talk to in their gym. Okay, and one last thing I want to note. I am not one of these guys who says things like, Oh, well, the gym is for exercising. Or the bar is for drinking. The mall is for shopping. You should never approach women in these environments. Those guys are their own breed, like I said earlier, of coping. Because they're scared to do it themselves. Oh, I would never approach my lady in the gym. The gym is to exercise. Guys, you have to meet people somewhere. Okay, if you're not extremely handsome as a man on dating apps at this point, you're not getting anything for matches. Especially in big cities, you have no chance. Okay? And meeting women at work, which is what most normies do, that has its own potential consequences to it. If you're younger and in school, that's about all you can do. Okay? So I can't fault a man for shooting his shot with a woman. And this video is a great example of what not to do. All right, so the caption here says, finally caught a creepy gym convo on camera. I don't know the precursor to this. I would guess she's just filming her set to see her form or for social media or something like that. That's gonna be such you have remaining. Okay. That's gonna be such you have remaining. Uh, one. Oh boy, okay. Now, we're not able to see the guy in the video. It's hard to tell what the guy's gonna look like because it is a gym, right? So he's probably in remotely decent shape. You would think this looks like a pretty serious gym, right? A lot of squat racks and bumper plates. Comment below what you think this guy looks like. That's gonna be such you have remaining. Okay. That's gonna be such you have remaining. Based on how he talks, I'm gonna guess just like big calves, like genetically just big calves. But notice how he starts this conversation. He doesn't say, hey, how many sets do you have left? Which also, too, that's a very kind of half-assed way to initiate a conversation, right? He says, may I ask how many sets you have remaining? Like I said, right, the Reddit mod thing. Again, these guys use a bunch of syllables because he probably goes online and listens to these dudes who are like, you need to woo women with your lexicon and vocabulary. Okay, that's another question. Sure. <laughs> okay, so he goes right from... How many sets do you have remaining into, can I ask if you're single? <laughs> I mean, we're jumping way over the bridge right off the bat here, man. Uh, why? That's almost worse than her simply saying yes or no. She's like, why? Like, think about that. She's like, why are you asking me that question? Now, to his credit, I guess he's being direct in some capacity. Like, he's not trying to, like, tiptoe around the question. He kind of went right into it. 
which I guess you can appreciate that. Do you consider dating? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, bro. Would you consider dating? Okay, guys. So he jumped the gun very heavily from how many sets do you have to are you single? Then he says, would you consider dating? You guys have to understand something, bro. You need to think about how needy and desperate that comes across. He literally just walked up to this chick. She could be a psychopath, a jerk, a drug addict, money-hungry sugar baby. I mean, all kinds of things. He literally just approached her. And we're, what, 10 seconds in and he's like, would you consider date dating? That's a serious commitment, dating someone. Or at least it used to be, I guess. Do you consider dating? <laughs> I don't know. And then her reaction is expected. She's just like, um, I don't know. And once again, guys, too, you have to understand this. You see a lot of these PUA guys have this, again, infield footage. And they'll be walking around with these women. They'll be sitting in the park or at the cafe talking to them for 20, 30 minutes. And they're like, you see that? I'm running game and I got the number. Guys, most women are just relatively polite. Most women aren't just going to harshly reject you right off the bat. Once again, because, you know, in the back of their head, they're like, okay, if this guy's a psycho, I can't make a scene here, right? But a lot of women will talk to these dudes for 20, 30, whatever, how many minutes until they can escape them. That's all that is. You see these guys on here, oh, I talked to her for 20 minutes and we had some witty banter. That doesn't mean anything, bro. Okay, I worked in sales. Anybody who's worked in sales can tell you, you can talk to somebody for an hour. And then at the end, they're just like, no, I don't want to do it. People have a hard time saying no in a lot of cases. So just because you talk to a woman for a while, that doesn't really mean anything tangibly. What's your name? Karen. Oh, her name is Karen. She looks younger. She is blonde though. So maybe in like 15 to 20 years, she's going to become like a full-fledged Bob haircut having Karen. We'll have to keep updated on that. Thank you for lifting that Karen. Did he just say thank you for lifting that, Karen? Thank you for lifting that, Karen. Did he even give her his own name? Again, maybe she edited out the audio for that purpose, but I don't think I heard him give his own name. What's your name? Well, thank you for lifting that. Oh my god, this, I mean, this is just snowballing, man. This is getting bad. Thank you. Can I ask where I might meet Karen for drinks? Can I ask where I might meet Karen for drinks? Okay, so now he's referring to her in the third person. The Rock says! Why not say you? Like, like oh god, dude. Can I ask where I might meet Karen for drinks? And once again, guys, you see what I'm talking about? He's already asking her on a date. Already, he just met the chick. Right? Guys, you should be arranging dates for the most part. I mean, at least you want to have some level of initial interest. Okay, she's clearly not that into this dude. Like I said, she's just kind of placating. Hey, how's it going? My name is this, whatever, right? Um, setting up a date this immediately. Again, they have barely established any connection or anything in common besides being at the gym. If you want to save yourself the time when getting rejected, just be like, you want to go out? You know what I mean? Like, all these fancy words. Oh, this guy sounds like such a neckbeard, dude. Uh, I don't drink. She says she doesn't drink, which is very likely cap. She's probably just saying that again, so she's like, no, we're not gonna do that. That's what you recommend meeting others like you. The Reddit is out of control, bro. Can I ask where you recommend, and she can't spell recommend properly, I can meet others like you. So now he's essentially accepted defeat in the moment and he's like, well, where can I meet others like you? You're in the gym, bro. Just turn to the side. <laughs> but that's another thing to consider too, right? You meet the girl at the gym and then you want to pivot to drinks. You know what I mean? Like you're going from one world to another and a lot of people who go to the gym still go out and drink and stuff. Like I said, I'm sure she drinks too. She's just saying that she doesn't to kind of negate the situation. But, like, you see what the sequence here? He's like, are you finished with the set? Are you single? Would you date me? Can I find other women like you? Where would that be? You see what I mean? Like, I mean, this guy is just pummeling his way into nothingness. That's what you recommend meeting others like you. I don't know. I don't know. There's not too many others like me. So. She just mogged the mess out of him. Can I meet others like you? She's like, I don't know. There's not many others like me. So now... She's able to boost her own ego. Karen, are you flirting with him? Oh my god, bro. So now he's asking if she's flirting with him. 
okay, this is like the Hail Mary pass. He's clearly out of things to say. He's like, hey, you flirting with me? He probably heard this again watching one of these PUA guys. Oh, if she gives you resistance or if she's not complying with your verbals, ask if she's flirting with you to turn it around or something. Oh, God. Bro, it's 2022 and you guys are still taking advice from PUAs. Oh, boy. Can this get even worse? Are you flirting with me? I don't know, no. Oh, she said, I don't know, and then she stopped herself and said, no. Yeah, she's over this. Will he have any last rabbits in his hat? No, thank you, Karen. <laughs> Enjoy your workout. And he says, thank you, Care. Oh my god, dude. What level do you think this guy is on uh, Dungeons and Dragons? Then he says, have a good workout. So that's a good way to... I guess stumble out of this conversation, right? Have a good workout. Again, I can't get mad at a guy for shooting his shot. That is essentially how cold approaching is gonna go for the vast majority of guys, all right? You guys have gotta stop believing these PUAs online where it's like, oh, if you just do the push-pull technique or you do the nag or if you say this special line or something, you cannot just make this attraction sprout out of thin air, bro, right? If she's not into you in the physical sense, right? you're pretty much doomed from the onset. If you don't meet at least some level of a threshold of what she thinks is attractive, and that can vary, right? But in that context, you have no chance if you don't meet that threshold, right? So once again, all these PUA guys are like, oh, you can woo her and charm her with your words and this and that. It's like, you can't, guys. Okay, now if she's into you physically, you can definitely say stupid things that blow your chances. Absolutely. All right, and like I've said before too, guys, you can meet girls at the gym, right? Again, click the video in the pinned comment of what not to do based on my experience. But the gym is not like a bar or a nightclub, okay? You can't just be walking up to women all the time unless you want to become the PUA guy in your gym, right? You have to be tactical. Ideally, you want to get some type of signals from the girl, reciprocate them in some capacity. And now the best part is every time she goes to that gym, he's probably going to be right near her, kind of looking at her. <laughs> Oh, man. So, good job by both parties. That was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with a fellow gym bro, and save them the headache. Thank you, as always, to the Patreon supporters. Hit me up on email or Patreon for custom coaching and plans or consultations. Thank you to the channel members, and I will catch you guys next time.